Understanding what ratios are in the financial world is as important as any other task, and you will realize that once you step into your financial career. It may not seem like a very serious issue now, but ratios can mean the difference between a few percentage points, which could potentially mean hundreds of millions of dollars. Sam and Jessica are two respectable business partners who just graduated from business law school. They have both been approached by the same business firm to oversee some financial issues that the firm has been having. Sam and Jessica will soon learn how important ratios really are. It is awesome that our first job right out of college is at the same business firm. Yes, it is. But let's not blow it. You tend to get a little too excited, so try to calm yourself down. It's a job, not a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to it then. We should start analyzing the past five years of financial statements. We can get a better grasp on what the company is doing wrong and what they are doing right, and then go from there. Sounds great. The ratio data from 2006 is on page 64, and it looks to be in order. It's a good thing that the ratio data from the company is correct so far, and it also helps that the company's performance and financial strength is tied into this data. If the numbers were off, it would not be a good thing at all. At least the balance sheet ratio, profit and loss ratio, and the combined ratio numbers look good as well. How are we going to look at interpreting these ratio results? Better yet, when we give our final determination to the CEO, in what way should we proceed? Well, he must know that one company will not be as valuable in one area as another. His company's dependability and performance is going to be based on the financial numbers that they've gained over the course of the fiscal year. True. Let's start by working up some numbers. You start with the current ratio. Which is the current assets divided by the current liabilities? I know what to do. Remember, I graduated from the same business school you did. Really? I must have been sleeping for all those years. Funny. Hey, look at this. There is a problem with the numbers in the fourth quarter of last year. There are five financial officers who work here, and three signed off on different ratios. One said that the total current assets were greater than the current liabilities, which would make the current ratio greater than one to one. Another officer said that the assets were less than the liabilities, which would make the ratio less than one to one. And the third officer said that the assets were equal to the liabilities, which would have made the ratio equal. That is a serious issue, mainly due to obvious reasons. If the ratio is greater than one to one, then they are stating the company can cover its liabilities. If it is equal, then the company will come out even. And if it is lower than one to one, then the company is losing money. Hey guys. How are things going? I'm sure my guys have everything in order, right? Well, sir, actually they don't. We noticed an indiscretion with the assets ratios. Three of your financial officers had varying opinions on your company's asset and liability numbers, but the serious issue lies in the fact that your CFO signed off on it. If you get audited, the company can take a serious hit. In short, we really do not know which is right or wrong at this point, and it will take some time to figure it out. Ratios are not a serious issue, right? Actually, they are, sir. Ratios play a very important part of the final calculations. If one thousandth of a percent is off, it could mean thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars misplaced. How could this have happened? Can you fix it? It will take some time, but we need to figure out if there are other issues that may arise. Well, have at it then. Don't let me bother you, and if you need anything, just ask. It looks like the company has never been below a one-to-one -one ratio. Meaning they never really have been near bankruptcy. If my numbers are coming up correctly, last year they posted a three-to-one ratio, which means that they should be paying off their debts with no problem. How does their equity ratio look? Let's see. When I subtract the equity, thirteen million seven hundred and fifty thousand, from the balance sheet ratio, forty-one million two hundred and fifty thousand, and then multiply that number by one hundred, I get fifty percent. So honestly, it looks pretty good. Let's make sure the CEO understands it all. You have something for me? We wanted to explain something to you if you have a little time. As you probably know, the purpose of ratios is important to the company, and we calculated last year's numbers for you. This number is designed to help you realize the company's overall burden. We take the numbers from the balance sheet and subtract it from the total equity of your business. Right. This is always going to be a fraction, so don't be alarmed, and you will see why. 
We multiply that fraction by 100 and get a percentage because the ratios are calculated in percentages. This percentage tells you how much you spend on equity and how much you spend on liabilities. It's a good thing you pointed that out to me. My CFO doesn't fill me in on anything around here when it comes to finances. I guess that's going to have to change. Since we are on the subject, how did the profit and loss ratios look? Well, we haven't had much time to look it over, but for the most part, things look decent. The gross profit to sales are done correctly. Operating profit to sales and net profit to sales are done properly also. Overall, everything looks okay. Not perfect, but okay.